Hey everyone, Daniel Hall here and welcome to this video training. I'm excited about this one because as you know, I am always telling you guys that you need to come up with your very own information products, whether they be video products, audio products, or ebooks and physical books for that matter. And one of the things that I do and help a lot of my folks to do is to create videos and many times I find that I need to convert between different video formats depending on what I want to do. For example, if I want um, if I want to make a DVD product, I want AVI files, okay? Because AVI is usually the best spot file format for making DVDs. Conversely, if I want to put up a online video, I want a much smaller file size, so I'll probably want an MP4 size video. At any rate, that's always kind of a problem is to figure out the conversion process and, and what software to use to actually make that happen. And I'm very happy to tell you about this little piece of, again, free FREE -E software called Super. It's here at eWriteSoft, e -write Soft, and um, actually this is, it's eWriteSoft Super dot html just like that okay and let's go there now the problem with the, this bad boy is although it is completely free and it's very powerful particularly for something that's completely free it's also buried um, in this site it's not this link for example don't go and press that link it's not what you want they actually take you through a whole bunch of advertisements uh, before they get you to the download link but I want to try to take you through this maze I think it's three or four pages back to show you where to go to download this here at eWrite Soft, okay? If you come down here, um, sorry it's going so fast here, but it's at the bottom of the page. You see where it says start downloading super right there? Well, that's what we want. So we're going to take it to this page. And again, ignore this where it says free download, okay? That's not what we want. And kind of scroll down to the very top of the page here where it says download and use. Okay, and that'll take you, okay, to the, our third page here. And I believe it's on this third page. And if you want a direct hot link to that, you might you might be able to get there. But um, let's see, we go scroll all the way down and there it is. Download super setup file. And we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, and it'll, of course, allow you to save this exe file right here to your you can save it wherever you like save it to your desktop etc and of course I've already done that but that's how you go ahead and do that so go ahead uh, download it and install it and once you have it installed I want to show you how to use this thing here it is right here this is the application now again for a free software it's not all that intuitive which is one of the reasons why I want to take you through a little bit of a tutorial here I'm not all that good at using it myself and what I do understand I want to show you so here is the program, right? So this is called Super. So the first thing you want to do is import the video. You could do it one of two ways. Either you can drag and drop the video, and actually you could, it could be a group. You could batch them and have them all done at the same time. You could, so here is one of the videos. Let me go over here and find an AVI video. Okay. So here's an AVI video. and. What you could do is just take it and drag it and drop it right into this pane. There we go. And so that's one way you could do it. Now the other way you could do it is you could basically right click anywhere on the, the screen and let's see if I can do it over here so you can see it a little bit better. There we go. And then you see where it says add all, um, multimedia files. All right. Control A, and it'll also open up a, a folder here, and you could uh, you could add it. Just uh, do that, and see how it adds it right down here. All right, we've already done that. So that's your first step. Now step two is to select the output types. Uh, this is an AVI file, so this is going to be a very big file, like I was saying, and best used for things like DVDs. Uh, but if we wanted to take an AVI file and make it a mp4 file and there, look look at all of them that you can choose from here by the way we want to make this an mp4 just like that and I would just leave these two 
at the defaults, okay, I would I'd leave it just at the defaults, and I would make sure that under video here, again, because you're you're just a beginner like I am, keep the defaults, and it usually comes out looking pretty good anyway. So I leave it at no change here, and I leave it at 29.97 here. Bit rate is a, is a bit slow for me, so I take mine up to about 4,800, okay, and that's that. Now, what we're going to do is we're, we're going to take this AVI file and we're going to hit this encode video and I'm going to do that right now. Oh, one other thing before I do that, um, I want to show you that you could actually select the folder that that this gets put into, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. You see this little M up here? This is the menu. You can actually hit that as well or we can hit again, hit the right mouse and, and then come down here to output file saving management you see that and there we go and let's say we want to just put this right directly into this um, this folder here that says documents alright and we're going to highlight that and then hit save change alright so that's where this should go now. Now all we want to do is we're going to encode the active files. You see there's only one active file in this area. So go ahead and do that. And so as you can see there, we see some progress here. And it's uh, just about done. And what happens is is that this uh, active file comes uh, when it's completed gets unchecked. So if it's unchecked, that means it's it's done. The other thing that you could do is you can you could actually preview the the last rendered file. So we that that was the file we just rendered, and we could take a look at it and see, make sure that we we like it. And there it is. All right, and uh, that's that's basically it. All right, so this is a, a really cool little tool. And say if you had this particular audio, right? Uh, and you wanted it to, to just strip out the audio, I talked about that, you could actually come up here and and choose a audio format to do that. Right there, you see where it says output here on the side and then uh, MP3, audio only, there you have it. And you could actually tell it to encode it and it will take, it'll take that video and it'll strip out that the audio out of the video, then you have a, a nice little podcast if, if you would like. Okay, so if you want to put together your very own video products, and hey, why wouldn't you? I wanted to introduce you to my product called Filmmaking with Video for Fun and Profit. How to create quick, short, low budget, and that's key, screen capture video and distribute them worldwide. And this is the product here. Um, you can head over here to freewarescreencapture.com and basically we're going to show you exactly how to go about getting all the software you, you need all free so you don't spend hundreds of dollars on programs that you don't need. How to go about organizing your video product so you can crank out a video with very high perceived value very fast. Uh, how to use really cool options that are available with this uh, screen capture freeware to jazz up your videos and give them a great aesthetic interest. Also, you could use screen capture so software with PowerPoint, and that's a really great way to, to quickly crank out narrated PowerPoint products. I'm also going to show you some editing tips on here so you can quickly take out your goofs and mistakes and errors in your videos. I'm also easily burning a master of your DVD with with absolutely free authoring software so you can get your video just like this one up on Amazon lickety split I mean real fast and also I'm going to show you a resource that will allow you to get a free e-store on the internet that you could sell your product through your videos and again all totally free so head on over here to freewarescreencapture.com and uh, you could um, I've even made this video available either as a DVD or instantly via internet video they're both the same price okay just one you have to pay for shipping but I have them both there for you to check out and, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video on using Super and I hope that you uh, take some time and go check out 
filmmaking with video for fun and profit.